Joining me now, Pastor Mark Burns, Trump supporter and co-founder of the Now Television Network. Pastor, great to see you tonight. Thank you for being here. So, first of all, originally you stood by the tweet with the black face, and now today you come out and say that you are sorry for it. Why the reversal? Well, you know, Megan, I'm sorry for, I apologize for the offense of the black face. Uh, the black face, uh, you know, several people, um, obviously many people were, were, were offended by it, but I apologize. I moved past it. I moved on because what's more important is that, that I don't apologize for the message that um, the tweet shared. Uh, it is a reality. It is a fact that the uh, Democrat Party panders after African Americans, uh, but they don't own up to the felt policies that has um, has caused many minorities in our country to be at the level that they're at. When in reality, we're not developing at the same speed as other ethnic groups in this country. I mean, we've heard the reports over and over again that 50, 54 percent up on food stamps, uh, welfare is still at a high rate, uh, home ownership is at a low. These are these are the effects of a Democrat party failed policies, and somebody's got to stand up and say, listen, Hillary Clinton, we see what you do with your mm -hmm. Southern Twain and your, uh, your pretending that you know these songs to, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, you know church, church, church music, congressional songs, and you, you, you come in with your hot sauce comments, and you, know, you would do and say and, man and, and manipulate your way to whatever you want to be in order just to win the votes. And in reality, you don't really care about black people. Well, I mean, what do you make of the numbers? Because overwhelmingly, Hillary Clinton is winning with African Americans. I mean, in some states and in some critical cities, it's almost 100 percent. It's it's 99 percent of the black population to 1 percent for Trump. Are they all wrong? Well, there's several factors, Megan. For one, I mean, let's just be real. Um, number one, the Republican Party uh, in mass hasn't, what I believe, done a really good job in reaching out to African Americans or minorities, which that's a whole other conversation by itself, because to be honest with you, I, th there's no such thing as an African American community. That is PC and the political correctness at the highest caliber. I mean, it, it, we, our politicians are darned if they do or they darned if they don't. If, if they don't talk about the African American community, then they are racist. If Donald Trump don't address the African American well, but community, you understand, then he's Trump racist. Got in trouble. He got in trouble because, well, no. I mean, Trump got in trouble for many reasons. First of all, he appeared in at least a couple of interviews very slow to condemn David Duke. Um, and then most recently, he sent out that tweet. Uh, in, the, in the wake of Dwayne Wade's uh, family member, his cousin, being murdered, without even a condolence remark, he instantly politicized it was the charge. And so that enraged many African Americans. It hasn't all been, it's a Republican, you know, we're against him. Well, that's not what I was saying. What I, the, the statement I was, I was trying to, I didn't get to complete my statement. My statement was this. Uh, in our political climate, number one, you're, you know, Donald Trump is darned if he don't reach out to the African American community, and he's darned if he do reaches out to the African American community. When in reality, there is no such thing as the African American community, because this political PC world that we live in is almost as though we are putting all African Americans in one hurdle, mm -hmm. one, one cattle herd, and so when you speak to one group, you speak to okay. us all. Well, that's not the case. I have African Americans across the country. I got to ask you one other question because you sent out another tweet okay. uh, that was, it turned out to be a fake picture of Hillary and Bill. In, in this one, they were at some sort of a costume party and it showed her in blackface. It turned out it wasn't them, it was a fake picture, and I think you've acknowledged that now. I mean, do you need to be more careful in your messaging and with the Twitter? Well, my message still stands. I still stand by. I mean, of course, obviously, that, that turned out to be a false picture. But hey, people that, do make mistakes, like Facebook. They're doing it to you right now. <laughs> They're doing it to you right now on yeah, Facebook. You know, with the, you're with doing the false this. report. But you, you're doing this. <laughs> yeah, but, but the point. I have but, Facebook but the point here. that I'm making is. <laughs> <laughs> but the point that I'm making is, you know, people make mistakes. Uh, but the point is, the message is still true. I'm standing behind my message. I'm not apologizing it. for that. Somebody got to speak up and tell the truth. It's going to be me. It's great to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Megan.